popsicle. That's fine, you don't have to. Do you want a popsicle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like slushies right now, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so saying, oh, no, did it just my earring? No, I oh, no! Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's what I'm it was. Not hurt right damn it! No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna owe you guys both earbuds by the end of this trip. <laughs> no, it's okay. Hopefully, Hopefully it still works. Okay, I have another. Check my earbuds, see if they work. I bet they're, I bet they're fine. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I'll, I'll definitely get you a new pair if they're not. I saw you. <laughs> Hopefully it's good for the stream. Does it work? I don't Is know. Is it still working? I don't know. If not, I have some earphones. Hold on a second. Let's uh, <laughs> let's test real quick. Damn, it's really good. Damn, it's hard to open. I know. It's lemon. Mm. Press, press, press. Wait, that's just coming out of there. That's not good. Uh, oh okay. wait. All right, I guess we'll. It's we're working. About to find out. Hold on. Oh, right. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the audio on so they can hear us in a second. Okay. So. Plus two. Test, test. Oh, it looks like it's on. I just dropped yeah. Astro's <laughs> headphones in the water. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go on cam. It got caught. Literally just dropped this thing in the water. Had a little mini panic before <laughs> it started. <laughs> Hi guys. Can you hear me? What's up? Look who I brought with me. Join us. Join us. Hello. Imported from Seattle. This is our beautiful Acro Goddess Kate. Mm -hmm. She's been hosting this beautiful retreat here in Hawaii. Cheers, guys. Cheers. And uh, everyone knows this face. <laughs> <laughs> These are truly popsicles, just so everyone's clear that I am drinking. 21 and over. They will count me to drink if I don't, so. And I, I, um... I succumb to peer pressure very easily. <laughs> How is everyone? Pearberry, you made it. You didn't fall asleep. We're having, we're having a private conversation over there. What's up, Kate? He's <laughs> having a private What's conversation. What's up? I was like, what's your name today? My name's Kate. So this is the chat here, guys. <laughs> Everyone's ogling over our swimsuits. Yes. As to be expected. As they should. Here, I'll make this a little bit bigger. So Kate's gonna join us for a little bit and she has to go teach a class. I have a power strip so we're not at the mercy of my laptop battery this time. We might be at the mercy of um, whether or not I can keep this in my ear and not <laughs> destroy all of Astro's yeah. equipment. <laughs> it gets caught in your hair. So You can't hear me? Yeah you can. Please talk louder. It's fucking with me. Can you hear Astro? Can you hear me? <laughs> he was B does his ass. He's a bit of a troll. The audio's a little choppy. Fuck. It's probably the waterfall. No, I think it's probably the fact that I dunked your our microphone in the oh, water. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, because oh. this is our microphone. Oh. Yeah. That's what I was like, oh shit. We can oh, hear sure. Astro loud and clear. Can you hear her loud and clear? Queen a little low. Oh. Yeah. This one works. Maybe if I blow on it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, then you guys are gonna hear me blowing on Put it. Put it on rice. <laughs> for, for, <laughs> for eight hours? <laughs> yeah, we can go get mine and see if it works. Ears are bleeding. <laughs> So funny. That's okay, it's a little character building, you know? Well, I don't know why you'd be able to hear Astro better than me, because we're both wearing the same lighting. Okay. Do you have a flip screen or no? No. Okay. But it's like, it's basically in the general direction of whatever I'm showing there, it's also showing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Got a widescreen. Yeah, the, the monitor is like extremely heavy. Mm. And it's like, it needs like two massive batteries. And I'm like, Ugh, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> That's fine. But yes. <clears throat> I don't think I've been on your YouTube channel. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, because every time I'm with you, we're just like, we're just adventuring. And yeah, stuff. we're not working. Yeah, not working. I'm like, forget about everyone else. <laughs> I know, don't I have the hottest friends? Mm -hmm. Look at the goddess in the back. Yes. 
Acro Gravity Goddess Kate. <laughs> She's our supervisor today. Yes. Make sure nothing really like. Make sure nothing horny happens. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was the 69 alert. So they just said 69 bits, and it goes uh, nice. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys should show her all the different bit alerts. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. I've never seen it before. Someone show her a cash daddy alert. Cash Daddy. Yeah. I want to see a Cash Daddy and a Tech Daddy alert. <laughs> Make sure it's up all the way. Yeah, the Cash Daddy alert's my favorite. <laughs> mm. So who's who's the in, in this room? Who's the Cash Daddy? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys spent Cash all your money yesterday. Daddy. Happy October 1st, by the way. I noticed the leaderboard is all cleared out. Anyone could take the lead at any moment. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, so, so run me through Twitch real quick. How is like, how does this work? But I'm obviously not a Twitcher yet. <laughs> You're not a Twitcher yet. No, Twitcher yet. But how does this shit work? How do you make money off of it, CEO? Um you show them your sparkling personality <laughs> okay <laughs> and they're okay. like wow money uh -huh. <laughs> they're doing a terrible example right now yeah <laughs> how so, about a broke ass alert yeah <laughs> um so okay so there's a couple ways you can make money on twitch there's subscriptions uh -huh. so people subscribe to your uh oh see there's more right there cash daddy that's not a cash daddy alert uh, <laughs> dumb buzz loser dumb ass donate. loser oh, dumb ass <laughs> <laughs> God. Yes, 2000 is the cash daddy alert. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Faji. So that was 100 bits. So, okay, so there's subscriptions, which if people subscribe to your uh, live stream, uh -huh. they don't get ads. So it's a pretty good um, incentive. And you can set the price? Unfortunately not. Twitch sets the price. Oh, how yeah. much? It's like five bucks, I want to say. A month? Uh, yeah. Not bad. And then the other way is bits, which is just like tipping. Mm -hmm. And it, bits are the Twitch currency. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see, that's my pay bot alert. Mm -hmm. that's, that's 200 bits. Uh -huh. So it's basically one bit is about a penny. So 200 bits is $2. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm trying to incentivize someone to send 2,000 bits, but uh, I guess no one could be bothered <laughs> to send $20. 2,000 bits, <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is an example of a horny person. And uh, when we see this, we, we go to this little thing right here and uh -huh. we ban them. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. So, so you gotta Easy be enough. careful on Twitch because it's, uh, I think it's technically like a PG-13-ish platform. Okay. And I heard you say that if there's water and bikinis involved, more people are inclined and watching your show. Is that yeah, right? it's so weird. So I've been like playing magic for months and um you know I, I hang out like in a sweatshirt and i play magic and you know i got a pretty good following but nowhere near as much as when i put on a bikini and just like hang out and take tequila shots yeah super weird i don't know why but yeah <laughs> they're just hoping for the for the right moment and the right time <laughs> you know what I'm yes sex sells it's true you saved the stream. That's true. I don't know why it was on emote only. That was fucking weird. Uh, so that's a follow. Someone mm -hmm. following. Ayo, thank you for the follow. Mm -hmm. Eater noise, hello. So Seems they like mostly, they mostly like just chatting usually. I don't think a lot of people are here to watch me game. Yeah. But I like to game. So. Yeah. Gotcha. I see. How yeah. long? What's the longest you've streamed? Like in one setting? Uh -huh. Maybe like six hours. Six Ooh, hours. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes I get into games a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, you're, you're not a big gamer, are you? No. Yeah. Not really. But you used, do you used to play video games? Yeah, I used to play Final Fantasy, Resident Ooh. Evil, um, Ooh, which Final racing Fantasy? games, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh yeah, Seven's 10. my all-time favorite game. Yeah. That's so that's, good. That's, 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 what's your name, what's your face? It's Cloud Strife and yeah. Tifa and... Uh-huh. Well, who's nine? Who's what? Well, there's Cloud also a nine, isn't it? I don't think so. Really? I don't uh, think so. But yeah, Tifa, Tifa Reinhardt. Yeah. Uh, Aerith. Yeah. Everybody say her name? Aerith. Aerith. Yeah. 
I six know. hours is amateur numbers. It, that's kind of true. Like I, I, like people on Twitch will do like 24 hour streams. They call them subathons, yeah. and they're just like on there all day. And like if people subscribe, yeah. it'll add to the hours that they're streaming. Oh my god. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, they've been trying to get me to do one like that for a while. I'm like, mm, nah. That's too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. You guys don't want me to be burnt out. Oh my out. gosh, look at our tanning goddess. <laughs> in the back. How lovely. Such a great background. I know. The Hello. paybot isn't working? What do you mean? Someone just did it. Dare to knife. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, Naruku. Naraku. 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 From now on, your name's Naruku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I only played triple triad card game in the Final Fantasy 7 and 9. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pillow Boy, thanks for the follow. <laughs> My Riku. <laughs> Aerith was an angel. I hated Aerith. She's dumb. I smell flowers. Ente perfect. <laughs> I'm a healer. <laughs> Hello, Hugh Jackman. Well, we got the Hugh Jack. Oh, I saved oh, it that catch. time. I saved it Good that time. Catch, girl. Oh, man, these 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 don't agree I'm with me. I'm gonna readjust this. I'm nursing this truly. Asko, could you ever get Ciara to jump out of a plane with you? That was one of my questions oh. on the interview. Wow, did you see her sheet? Yeah. <laughs> did you turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> I Stop have looking a... at her book. <laughs> I was actually gonna ask her like like. Would you ever consider skydiving? If so, will you go skydiving with me? Are we asking, are we doing this now? Uh-huh, we can okay. do this now. Should I take a shot first? This is a drunken, I'm drunken drunk, yeah. interview. Do you want I'm, a tequila shot? I'll have a tequila okay. shot. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous about this tequila shot. For reals. Yes, I'm for oh, reals. We're almost... Out of it. I think someone yeah. got into it last CL, night. CL can hammer it down. <laughs> I can't. That's true. Yeah, I gave you like one the other day and you're like passing out on the couch. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. This is our drunken interview. Ugh. Sorry, I didn't have any chasers. That's okay. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, so right. answer my question, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is mine? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Uh, no. Why? Because <laughs> I'm scared. I don't like heights. Yeah, everybody's scared. Yeah. But once you, once you take that initial jump, you're like, holy shit, this shit's amazing. You know, I always kind of thought that that was probably true. Yeah. Until I met, uh, you know, our friend Jason. Mm -hmm. He said he did it because his wife really wanted to go skydiving. Oh, Jason. Yeah. Oh. And uh, he hated every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once All I right. heard someone say that, no, it's like it wasn't someone like, oh, you just got to do it and it's great. He's like, no, it, I was terrified and it was horrible the whole way. <laughs> I was like, I feel like that's going to be me. I feel like I'm not going to like it. If I were to, I would want to go with you, though. Okay. Yes. Okay. Definitely. I almost did when I was in New Zealand. Because New Zealand's supposed to have some of the best skydiving. They uh -huh. go higher, I guess, than anywhere else. And mm -hmm. then it's such a gorgeous uh, landscape. Yeah. And so I almost did it when I was there. But I was with someone, and Ooh. he was just like, you are on your own. And so I was like... If, if I had someone with me that was like, oh, I'll do it with you, I'd, I, I probably would have done oh, that. What happened but... to the other, the other person? Oh, oh he was just like, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Oh. <laughs> Pussy. So I didn't really have any uh, moral support there. So. Fair enough. I was okay. like, all right. Yeah, if there's maybe like, if there's maybe like two or three of us, I'm sure Snow would do it. Oh, yeah. Or, or this goddess Kate would do it. I would do it for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you would? Yeah, I skated with you. Yeah, I, I skated here in Kauai. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fearless. Yeah. It was super fun. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I jumped, I was like so happy that I was out of that plane. Mm -hmm. so shitty. <laughs> oh, you're happy to be out of the plane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have what's called, this is a new Twitch thing. This is a hype train. Mm -hmm. And it gets triggered, I think, when three different people either send a donation or subscribe uh -huh. in like 
I don't know, five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, it. the more they pay, you go up in levels. Hype train. Hype okay. train. So this is a new feature on Twitch? No, it's it's been around since I joined. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, but you don't know what, what triggers it? Oh, you do know what triggers yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's three different people sending like donations or bits in like five minutes. Okay. Well, I have already asked you one of the questions I was gonna. All right, should I ask you a question? Sure. Okay, I did I did write down a couple. <laughs> All right, I have a I have kind of a lame question, and I feel like I should get it out of the way. <laughs> You've probably been asked this a million times, uh -huh. but I personally haven't heard mm -hmm. the story. Where? Did, what is Astro Domina? How did you come up with that name? That's not I your didn't. real name, right? No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't come up with it. I oh, was, really? Yeah. So what I did was this. I used to be named Amazing Kitty, uh -huh. and I got bored with the name, so I let my I let my um, cam followers create a name for me. Oh, cool! Yeah, but I said it has to be an A, so I'm at the top of the list. Oh, smart! Yeah, and then they came up with Astro Kitty. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen Astro you go by Kitty Astro first. Kitty yeah. before. And then I switched over to becoming a dunk, so Astro Dominant. Mm. It's not super like it's not super exciting. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> But what about you? Why YCL? Why CR Lynch? Um, well, I mean, it's my real name. My my, my dad is David Lynch, the, the famed uh, director, uh -huh. you know, Blue Velvet and all uh -huh. that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he just came up with a name when I was born. Damn, girl. Yeah. That's awesome. Birth name. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow, everyone's really upset that Kate left. <laughs> oh. I know, she's a great background. Yeah. She'll probably come back. I know, she'll come back in a little bit. I promise. Astro Dominic Kitty, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So troll. <laughs> you don't believe me? Sierra does. Oh, he really wants to marry you, huh? Yeah, it's weird. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> <clears throat> well, let me ask you another question. Okay. See, Sierra, if you were born with no right leg and no left arm, what do you think you'd be doing to make an income? Oh God, <laughs> that's so specific. Yeah. I you really know, like I it. thought you were gonna ask me what would I be doing to make an income if I weren't doing this, and um, even that I don't know the yeah. answer. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm disabled. Um, oh, you know what? I would like, I would be like a daddy does. A daddy does? Yeah, I would be like does. I would um, just assist uh, a another dom because obviously like I, I know what it's like to do my job and yeah. I know like all the drudge work you got to do yeah. that gets tedious. Uh -huh. I know all the shit that I could be doing that I'm not. Yeah. Like all that stuff. Like I think I could really like help out someone else as like an assistant. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. If I was to be born with no right leg and no left arm. Oh, she's thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> Go I on. think I think I'd be working in a hospital. Yeah? For real. Yeah. Doing and what? just taking my time. I don't know, accounting work. Mm. Or like just like back end work, you know? Okay. And no one would give me shit because they already feel bad for me. Right. So I can take my time. <laughs> just be an asshole, be like. <laughs> Watch Netflix all day. Because we never get a chance to be assholes. <laughs> we gotta be so nice all the time. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what does funny. a Dom assistant do? Uh, oh, that's a good question. So. <laughs> Things like um, social media posts, taking pictures, although that might be a little tricky with one hand. Wardrobe. Yeah, wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Answering emails. Mm -hmm. um, sifting through the fucking bullshit of emails and finding yeah. like dudes that are like serious about like, hey, I want to actually buy something for me or yeah. give me money. Yeah. Um, yeah, making like promo mm -hmm. alerts. Scheduling. Scheduling. Uh, packing for trips. Mm -hmm. Again, that might be tricky if I have no arm or leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think some of those things might might be better if I was more able-bodied, but a lot of it's just like sitting at the computer and typing. Yeah. Yeah. Doing That's computer true. shit. That's good. Great answer. Great answer, C. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Lifting a disability check. You could jump for death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could. We could. 
<laughs> that would be, be an insane. amazing uh, drummer. Wait, is that a burn on Def Leppard? Do they have a bad drummer or something? <laughs> Abraham, hello. So funny. Did I see Pegging was in here? Pegging is in here. Hola, Pegging. Pegging Unicorn. Pegging is one of my mods. Hey. <laughs> the girl's down. chugging down. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 um, we're eating Mom's these, milk. these truly popsicles, and then I have a little bit of tequila left. That will probably finish the bottom. Yes. Um, all right, should I ask you a question? Yes. The other ones I have. Okay, that one's done. Oh, okay. So, Disregard sizing. Uh -huh. If you could trade closets with anyone, who would you trade closets with? Disregard sizing. Yeah, so don't okay. worry about if someone's like bigger than you or smaller than you. Like, okay. Just like whose closet would you want to trade with? Mm. Could be a celebrity. Could be another dom. Um, uh, I think I would like to trade. I think I would like to trade with. Gosh. Um. Bianca Beauchamp, do you know her? Oh yeah, the latex yeah. chick. That's a good yeah. Yeah, she's been around forever, and I bet she's got a yeah. huge collection of outfits. Oh yeah, would love to trade. Or or um, Dita Von Teese. Yes. Ooh, can you imagine? Uh, yeah, those are good answers. I wouldn't yeah. want their wardrobe because I would never wear their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I just want to get. You in like there. to dress up. I'm I was do. Just like, oh. well, <laughs> Can't who would be bothered. You, who would you? That's a good question. I should have thought about this. Uh, <laughs> I would trade closets with Goddess Jessica. Ooh, Goddess Jessica. She's okay, got a I good like style. Her. Yeah, yeah, she really does. Yeah. Her style is more like chic, but also like mm -hmm. I think um, she's got some cozy strong. shit in there. Yeah, 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 she does. Yeah, she always looks very badass. Mm -hmm. Bianca Beauchamp, Kim K. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I know. She's a big latex model. <laughs> the bird. I don't know about that. Brad is imaginary. Can you ever get Astro to go to Burning Man? I tried really hard this year. Yeah, I know. She was like, hey, my my Burning Man mate dropped. I have everything prepared. Yeah, I was going to make it so easy, well, as easy as you can make it to go to Burning yeah. Man. Yeah, and I was like, <coughs> I'm sick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually went, so my dad, Wanted to do a trip together, wanted to go to Latin America, but instead we ended up in Spokane because he's moving back to the Philippines. Yeah, he so you had travel plans. Yeah, we had travel plans. I think, like, I, I think most people would like going to Burning Man at least once. I think you would love it. I really do. Do you think I can stay in the trailer for like a good 24 hours if I, like, I don't want to go out? Yeah. Is there data there if I want to watch Netflix? No. See, that's my problem. I have to like <laughs> download all the Netflix. I really don't think you would you would want to. Like, there's really? so much to do. Like, you, going on your phone like doesn't even occur to you. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everyone says it's magical. It's pretty magical. It is. Were, were you there? Brad is imaginary. <laughs> were you there? Yes. Who are you thinking of moving from Seattle? Are you still the, um, yes, I'm still, I'm thinking of moving to Hawaii part-time, seasonal. So six months here, six months in Seattle. You pretty much already are. Yeah, I, technically I'm doing that. Who is that girl? Don't worry about me. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry, I'm just a friend. <laughs> Trying to detox. Here, everyone can follow Astro. Internet detox. I just turned off my phone right there. Internet yeah, detox. Yeah. She's I detoxing right now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right, you ready for my next question? Uh, yes. Fuck Mary Kill. Yes, I love these. James Franco. Okay. Cillian Murphy. Okay. Or Killian Murphy. Uh huh. Brad Pitt. Ooh, they're all hot guys. I know. Okay. Fuck Mary Kill, baby. Fuck Mary Kill. I think I might have to marry Killian Murphy. I actually don't know what he's like as a person, but for some reason, I feel safe with him. <laughs> I watch too much Peaky Blinders. I, no, it would have to be like Mike Shelby, really. Yeah. <laughs> Although, actually, that'd be a disaster marrying yeah. him because. 
I'd be worried about him all the time, being, yeah. a, being a mob guy. Well, right. I'll tell you, he's, Killian Murphy doesn't have social media. He hates uh, it. Yeah, see? That's so mysterious. I know. Women like mysterious men. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I would marry Killian Murphy, fuck Brad Pitt, and kill James Franco. That's <laughs> I would like to fuck all three of them at the same time, <laughs> honestly, but if I had to choose, I think that's my, that's my lineup. Saw it coming. I'm sure you did, Naruku. <laughs> Brad Pitt is what? 50. Oh, he's 58? Yeah, he's almost 60. Oh my god. He is, um... Still hot. Yeah, he's a dilf, man. He's a, he's a, he's a good looking older totally guy. I would totally sit on his face. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if he was tired Sorry. and... <laughs> we Sorry, I forgot this is a NSFW. a place to sit. <laughs> James Franco, but only in his, only in this is the end. I'm straight though. Oh, I never saw that. Oh, one. that movie. Age doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does a little bit. But no, he's aging very well. He's a, he's a good yeah. man. Like I would rather fuck him in his prime, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. He is like hella hot. Yeah. Naruku. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is age? I think, well, okay, so James Franco's probably, like, what, in his 40s now? Probably, yeah. I've and then him. Killian Murphy's... I have met James Franco, yeah. Yeah, how did that go? <laughs> That's a good story, actually. Yeah. Do you want to hear okay. it? Have I told it to you? Uh, maybe. Okay. Um, Tell us again. So I was in a James Franco movie, briefly. Mm -hmm. My friend... Um, worked as like a, a project manager in a few of his movies for a while and they told him that they needed some footage of a cam girl and my friend was like i don't know any cam girls and then he's like wait a minute that's the stupidest thing i've ever said in my <laughs> life because we're like really close friends and he calls me up and he's like hey we need some footage of a cam girl can you send like some of your clips yeah and i was like hell yeah and so i sent him a bunch and they chose this one, and in the scene, um, it's, a, it's a movie called Blood Heist, which like never went anywhere. I don't mm -hmm. think it ever got released. They, uh -huh. they filmed it in like 2017. Mm -hmm. um, but in the scene, there's a dude jerking off to one of my clips, and these two women sneak up behind him yeah. and shoot him in the back of the head, and his blood splatters on the screen, and there's this cool shot of my clip splattered in blood. That is pretty cool. It's really cool. So I was on set one time, and James Franco was there, and we didn't really talk or anything. He was, like, busy. But um, anyways, uh, a few months later, my friend, who's mm -hmm. the project manager, mm -hmm. was having a birthday, and they were going to the Magic Castle. Uh -huh. You know what the Magic Castle is? Yeah. So for people that don't know, it's um, it's kind of just what it sounds like. It's this castle in LA mm -hmm. and it's full of magicians. It's invite only, it's formal wear, and you just get to see a lot of cool magic shows. So it's my friend's birthday and he's like, I want to have a birthday at the Magic Castle. And so I went to go visit him for his birthday. Mm -hmm. And on the way, he tells me, thank you, Pooby. On the way, he, he tells me and he's like, this is a long story, but but James is gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> he said, who's James? You know, because he's like on a first name basis. He's so Hollywood. <laughs> he's like, oh, Franco. And I'm like, James Franco's gonna be there? Fuck yeah. <laughs> so I go there and it's like a small group of us. Uh -huh. And it's, it's me, my friend, his girlfriend, maybe like five or six other people. And then like James Franco. Uh -huh. And so the whole time I'm like asking my friend, I was like, can you hook me up with James Franco? <laughs> Yes. And he was just like, ugh. Because he's, he, not that he doesn't like James Franco, but he's just very unimpressed by celebrities. And uh -huh. he thinks anyone that is impressed by celebrities is like so lame. Yeah. So he's just like, ugh, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, he is not helping me at all throughout the night. Yeah. Like, I think I got a brief introduction and that was about it. Um, but the night goes on and we go and we, we see this magic show and there's seats. It's kind of one of the bigger ones where you like can sit down. And James Franco takes a seat, and there's an empty one next to him, and I just pounce on it. Yeah. And get in there. And, you know, he looks at me because I'm, like, sitting right next to him. And we start talking. Like, I just start, like, chatting with him. Mm -hmm. And we have a little, like, small talk conversation. And then afterwards, you know, we kind of separate again. We're, like, looking at other magic shows. And then James Franco's kind of, like, leaving abruptly. Him and his friends are yeah. leaving. And, uh, and they left... And I was like, oh man, I missed my chance. Yeah. And my friend's girlfriend was like, oh, it's not, the, it, the, it's not over yet. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? 
And she's like, trust me, I got this. <laughs> and so she used to be his like personal assistant for uh -huh. like three years. And so she texts him and she's like, honey, don't worry. James Franco is the biggest man whore ever. <laughs> like I can, this, this will happen very easily, trust me. And so she, she texts him and she's just like, hey, you know that girl that was here? Like she, you know, she's just in from out of town. She wanted to maybe hang out with you. Yeah. Like, what do you think? And he replies back. Uh huh. The humiliatrix? Question mark. Uh huh. I didn't tell him what I did for a living. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> he definitely looked you up. <laughs> so I'm just like, wait a minute. Did you guys tell him what I do for a yeah. living? And they're like, no. <laughs> and we're just like, wait, what? And so we're all confused. Anyways, my so friend fun. is just like, yeah, her. And get this, this is how bad my timing is. <laughs> he writes back this paragraph, which I guess was really unusual. Like my friend Sam was like, what the fuck? Because James would always reply with just really like one word answers, very like quick. Like he would never send like a paragraph. Yeah. So she just sees this paragraph and she's just like, what the fuck? And James is basically like, you know what, she was really lovely, you know, we had a nice conversation, um, you know, I, I don't want to be rude, but I'm making a lot of changes in my life right uh -huh. now, and like, I, you know, wow. I've been, I've been, I've been meditating, <laughs> like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Basically, he was, he, he decided that week to be a reformed man -ho. Like, he wasn't gonna <laughs> whore about anymore, wow. like, right when I meet him. Yeah. And like, sure enough, like, he really did, like, Sam was telling me that he really did change after that. Like, uh -huh. he got a girlfriend that was like, he was really serious with, it was yeah. like, long term. Wow, talk about bad timing. I know. <laughs> Anyways. We were trying to figure out how he knew who I was. Uh -huh. Like, did he, oh, does, does he like watch my videos? What is it? <laughs> Anyways, yes. we figured out, surely he saw me on set uh -huh. when I was on his, when I was in his movie yeah. that one day yeah. and probably asked about me, like, who is this girl? Oh, and then okay. figured out who I was that then, so. I don't know. That's my guess anyways. Damn. So yeah, that's my James Franco story. CL. <laughs> this close to fucking him. And then, <laughs> oh, decides not to be a man slut anymore. <laughs> he probably came to the yes. clip and felt bad. <laughs> yes, definitely. Dorky, <laughs> yes, do it again. It's a great story. I can't yeah. remember who told me that. Maybe you did. I might have told you before. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was years ago. <laughs> Locked up. That's right. Was it October when this happened? <laughs> It would have been December, so <laughs> I, could, I could understand why he was scared. Oh, snap. So, oh shit. Yeah, I was acting. Mm. Is he still alive, though? I haven't heard from James in a while. Yeah, yeah, he's still, he's still kicking. He also, during his, like, like, you know how he's kind of known for just doing any movies? Just, mm -hmm. like, just like, <laughs> yes. like, like Kevin Hart? Kind of, yeah. Like, I mean, like, Blood Heist was a good example. Like, it was so terrible, like, uh -huh. that it never even got released. Like, they oh, didn't even bother, no. like, putting it out there. Anyways, I think he also kind of slowed down with that as well. Like, he became more selective oh, about really the projects he took down. on, which is like, yeah, you're James Franco. You can do that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I think he had, like, a bit of a fear, like, I got to keep working or else, you know, it's Hollywood. They'll kick me out. Yeah, that's whole scandal. Well, his, his, his new movie is with, um, what's that? Girl, Amber Heard and um, so the Amber Heard, Amber Heard and you know Johnny Depp, right? Oh, really? No, no, no. In their classic, uh, oh, you know, trial. <laughs> the the like yeah, his, the, his the thing. They, I just saw a trailer for that. How the fuck did they whip that out so quickly? I have no clue. <laughs> that, I think it's a parody. It's definitely a parody. Disaster Artist was awesome. Disaster Artist was good. Yeah. Eighty-two viewers. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right. Hey, miss. Hello. <laughs> Hello which, which miss? <laughs> Hello, missus. Damn, I got bit already. I know. So All Astro right. has this, like, thing that sucks bug bites out of your flesh. And it works just like a charm. For me, it I can't help it work. Straight Dorky, do that again. <laughs> Can I buy the pool water? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish yeah, I were that pool water. <laughs> I was telling them yes. I was telling chat yesterday that um, when I went to uh, when I went to uh, Cancun with Lady Vi, we, uh -huh. were, we kept making jokes like that because you know how anytime you're like there's just a picture of you sitting down, yeah. dudes are like, I wish I were that chair. <laughs> <laughs> so everything was just like, well, I wish I, wish I, I, I were that bug bite sucker. <laughs> 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 I wish I 
you're sucking oh the venom God. out of your fucking arm. This is true. This is true. Franco has written four or five novels. Yeah. Oh, I bet he's he like did. kind of a renaissance man. He's done a lot of things. All right, CL. All I right. got a question for you. Go on. Can I have more shots? <laughs> oh yeah, hold on. Let me. Let me Can get I have this. another half a shot? Hell yeah. I didn't think you were gonna drink. Franco has written four or five novels. Yeah, he's 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 a better actor than he's a writer. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a really good actor. Yeah, he's really good. Have you guys seen that movie where he ended up in a desert? He got stuck in and drank his own piss. What's the, what's that movie called? He was like a hiker and then he was a hiker and then. Oh, is it based off a real dude? Yeah. Yes, it was based off a real. It was a real story. Jordan, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Rebel, hello. Mm. He cuts his arm off. Yes, he cuts his arm oh. off. Yes. A hundred. Yes, correct. One hundred and twenty-seven hours. Oh, uh, okay. I haven't seen that. Surprise, surprise. Great acting. Yeah. Intense. He was so hot in, what was it, Freaks and Geeks? <laughs> oh, such a cutie. He's, yeah, still, yeah. he's still a good looking guy now, but man, in his prime. Ooh. Yeah, this is true. Oh my gosh, Brad Pitt in his prime. Ooh. Troy, remember Troy? Ooh. Blonde so hair good. and just like stacked, lean, strong body. I know. Like could kill anyone. Kill me. <laughs> kill me. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, sorry, tequila. I forgot. Yeah, so I'll take half a shot. Okay. I think it was called The Hiker Who Drank His Own Piss. That's a good movie, too. 127 hours doesn't really tell much, you know? <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. Shot the mosquitoes, baby. Woohoo! Wait, listen. Did you recognize him? <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? That's Carl. Carl Edge. Hey, Carl. Did you, see, did you see who was on the alert? No. Oh, Carl, you have to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I did not see it. That's <laughs> what I'm going to say. Okay. All right. Have fun. All right. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers bitches. Woo-hoo. All right. Woo. Oh. Your dog. <coughs> Follow <coughs> Holy shit. I need more tangerines. Yes, Poopy. Wait, who so what, what did he oh, do? Dorky. What did Carlidge do? He sent the Cash Daddy alert, which was 2,000 bits. Uh, uh -huh, uh, okay, okay. Alright. But he has to do it again because he missed it. I didn't see it. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. Okay, here's my next question. Okay. So we're done with Fuck, Mary Kill. Alright. She's kind of fine. Oh, Rebel's about to do it. Okay, it's about to show up here. Let's give it a second. And the okay. look right there when it shows up. I'm gonna look at the cash daddy. The cash daddy. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> it's, it's Shaw! It's, it's Julian! The cash daddy. Cash <laughs> oh my god! Sebastian Cash. Uh, <laughs> Astro. <laughs> oh, so, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Here's another one. Hell yeah! yeah that's my cash More daddy shots alert. and mosquitoes. Cash it has a fucking echo. More shots than mosquitoes. More shots than mosquitoes. It's Shoal. <laughs> okay. My next question is, have you ever had a near-death experience? If not, why? Because <laughs> I don't take physical risks in life. Um. All right, let me try and think of... Oh, no, I got a good one. Okay, okay, okay. All this right, might be right. the closest... I think I was pretty far from actually dying, but it was pretty scary. Uh -huh. This was uh, my same friend that worked with uh, James Franco, his uh -huh. name is Ray. Uh, we were in Thailand together is how we met. We were both backpacking Thailand. Mm -hmm. And we went to, I can't remember the island, but it was one of those islands that you could um, karaoke, uh -huh. or karaoke, yeah, kayak. kayak. <laughs> You could kayak from you're island drunk. to island. It's okay, you're drunk. I, we, we get it, we get it. All right, you can, you can kayak from island to island, and uh -huh. there's like this one monkey island you can kayak to. Uh -huh. So we got a tandem kayak, and we went over to Monkey Island uh -huh. together on, on tandem, and we hung out there and, you know, chilled for a bit, and then we're like, okay, let's go back. Uh -huh. 
and the way we went back it was like this is the island we kind of had to go around these cliffs and then like that to go back so as we're turning the curve on these cliffs we see this dark cloud from right. a distance right. and we should have maybe known better but we just kind of kept going on and as we kept going the rain cloud got closer and closer to uh -huh. us and then all of a sudden it just started dumping on us really hard yeah it was just a tropical rainstorm just like and wind started picking up oh shit yeah you know? yeah and like waves were just like smacking up against this cliff that oh we were like God. right next to and we're trying to like go and the wind is so powerful that all we can do as we're paddling like we couldn't even move forward all we can do is keep ourselves up yeah you know yeah so we're like trying to keep ourselves up by like paddling yeah. as like hard as we can uh-huh and we're barely getting anywhere and we're just like we're trying to move and, and ray's like ahead of me and he's trying to just like you know sir stay calm yeah uh, yeah and we're paddling, and then like all of a sudden we tip over. Oh no! We tip, Holy shit! We, yeah, we tip over. That's making me nervous. Yeah. Are and you gonna survive? Look, and like again, like just these waves are smacking up against the cliff, and we're trying to like stay away from it. And Ray, like I gotta give him credit. He's like, he's a he's a Chad man. Like yeah. he like, you know, just like took took control of the situation. You know, like kept me calm. Yeah. And like he's like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna flip this over, and then you know we flipped it over, and I think he got on first, uh -huh. and then he helped me on, and uh -huh. then he's like, all right, Ciara, like we gotta fucking pump our arms, like yeah. well, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna count and just like keep up with my pace. We're gonna yeah. go, Phew. yeah, and we did, like we just like with all our might, we're just like, ah, 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 uh -huh. ah, like paddling through, like barely getting forward. Luckily, like as we're doing it, the cloud is kind of going away from us. And you know how tropical storms are. Like yeah. they, they go away pretty fairly quickly. It yeah. felt like forever, but yeah. it's not like in Seattle or whatever, we're just rained for nine months straight. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, we just were paddling and paddling and paddling. And we finally like made it to the beach. And <laughs> this oh Thai guy, God. we're returning the kayak. He gave no shits. Like we're just like these drowned rats, like <laughs> at the brink of tears. And he's like a hundred baht. Like <laughs> <laughs> but the best part was during the entire time, my friend Ray had a GoPro on his helmet, oh and he documented gosh. everything. I want to see. Yeah, I see the video. it wasn't video, but it, it was like taking a picture every few seconds, oh, so you could gotcha. see like the progression. Holy yeah. shit, that's insane. Yeah, and <laughs> this is where it's like, okay, maybe you probably didn't almost die. Yeah. While this was happening, there were so many boats just like going Boat. past us. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we really wanted to, we could have just like started screaming and yeah. like waved one down. Yeah. But, I don't know. Our egos oh got the gosh. best of us. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. I like yeah. that. Near-death experience. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Wait. Would you try wingsuit gliding? I bet Hell you would. Hell yes. Hell yeah. yes. It's only 200 jumps. So that's kind of like my 200 goal. 200 skydives? 200 skydives, yeah. Okay. I'm at 12 now. So I'm just <laughs> you got 12. a ways to go. Yeah, I got a ways to go. <laughs> but still, you know, that's not too far off. Oh, you could do I it, yeah. It. I can definitely make it happen. You seem to like it. Cookie Monster. Hell yeah. Do it again. Dorky, you too. These are my pay bots. I have, to, I have to command them to. Oh. We've probably seen Dorky on Twitter before. Dorky? Dorky have one. I? Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Pretty sure I have seen it. He's him. been around a while. If you'd been in a kayak with me, we'd both be dead. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Sir, I shouldn't say it that far. Uh, all right, you have a. Do you have a new near death experience? Me? I feel like you probably have way more oh, than me. Oh, every time. <laughs> every day. <laughs> every, every day I try to almost die. Uh, that, this one time I I hopped into a friend's I hopped into a friend's race car, so we were on track racing cars. Mm -hmm. It was a Nissan G Skyline GTR. I don't know if you're aware of a, this car. No. Anyway, it goes pretty fast. It's like a boat of a car, but it goes pretty fast. We were going. We were going pretty fast when we slid off of a track, mm -hmm. but I think I thought we were gonna hit a tree or something because there was a tree right on that curve, 
but luckily he he skipped the tree mm-hmm. and it was just like a like so close so close to hitting that tree that we both be incapacitated you oh know God. yeah but it was him diving i driving so i'm like never again would that ever happen i almost died going to a world record once yeah you almost destroyed your health <laughs> Ooh, a, a world record for what <laughs> mario kart <laughs> Wait, not Mario Kart, but some a, a racing game. Yeah, he's a, he's actually very good. He does have some world records. <laughs> but yeah, he's well, not gonna die. An- another one would be like one time I remember skydiving, super hungover. <laughs> Terrible mistake. <laughs> Terrible mistake. Yeah, never ever skydive hungover. Oh God, thought yeah. I was gonna die. Who's your favorite lobster? Hmm, I like I like those rainbow lobsters. Have you seen those? You ever had one? Like eaten one? Uh-huh. Can you eat them? The rainbow one? Pretty sure you can. Oh my god. That's yeah. that's that seems them. unethical. They're so beautiful. <laughs> Going for a rose real quick. Taking you for a Lamaui action. You almost died eating a bad cheese <laughs> Just like your Amazon is saying shit. No, CL is definitely taller. Oh yeah. I'm I uh she's uh what, like six or five four? Five four, yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm six four. seven. She's six seven. <laughs> 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 All right, I got two more, CL. All right, I got wait. two more. Wait, no, it's my turn. Oh yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> near death experience. Okay, this is the last one that I have. Uh, okay. What superstitions do you have? Never sleep in front of a mirror. Oh. Because it open in in my uh, in my culture, it opens up a portal. Mm. to a new world um also never have the door in front uh like in front of another room in no, a house it's like a feng shui thing yeah right? yeah oh um what other do you have the do, 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 do filipinos believe in like the korean fan death thing what is that i haven't heard that mm-hmm. so i guess in korea they believe if you leave a fan on while you're sleeping you'll die Oh, actually, I kind of believe that. I, oh, really? I know of three people who half their faces died or went numb, and they got Bell's palsy. From a fan? Yeah. What? Yeah, because they slept, and then they turned, left the fan on, and, like, half their faces, like, woke up and could not work anymore. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I know three people. Three. Wow. Yeah. I'm a little bit superstitious, so I never leave, a like, a fan directly on my face. Mm. Yeah. Um, other superstition, um, you know, it's just the usual creepy shit. You, know, you, you believe in like ghosts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I do. I do believe in ghosts and shit. Because <laughs> I've seen ghosts and shit, you know, and it's not fun. Yeah, you don't like watching like scary movies no, or I playing scary it. games. I yeah. fucking hate it. Yeah, aliens. We play a game. All right. We play a game called uh, Phasmophobia, mm-hmm. where you basically play like a, like a, like a ghost hunter where you have to go into like a creepy house and uh-huh. like kind of collect Here? yeah on okay. twitch and okay. collect clues and like figure out if, like if it's a demon or a shade or a banshee uh-huh. and stuff like that i think that would scare the shit out of you because it is very like scary yeah it doesn't you, scare you oh it does yeah it oh. totally does because you you go into the house and of course your your flashlight is like shit so yeah. it's like really dark yeah. and then like the sounds in the house are just like creepy uh-huh. and then like you only have so much time in there to like collect evidence before the ghost starts hunting you oh, and when the, and it's okay. not always really clear when the ghost is hunting you it used to be really obvious but sometimes it's not really clear but like when it does like you can't say anything in the game you can't talk uh-huh. you got to go hide somewhere uh-huh. and like turn off your lights <laughs> yeah that's actually a sound from that phasmophobia mother- <laughs> so yeah i have that alert to for people to like fuck with me while i'm playing yeah you would you would hate that game i yeah i would t- definitely hate it yeah schwanhorn hi so yeah anyways i hate not it's not like it's not that i hate halloween we have a different form of halloween where we actually go to a cemetery a mm-hmm. graveyard and we pay our respect to the dead mm. so we create I don't know. We and you spend an entire day, actually a, a whole weekend, at the graveyard to commemorate your your loved ones. Oh, it's kind of like Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, that's how we yeah. that's how we do Halloween. We oh, don't okay. dress up slutty or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, here's my last question for you, Theo. Okay. 
Both of your nails are beautiful. Really? <laughs> really? Mine's, <laughs> mine's <only> painted, huh? <laughs> All like natural. Art. Yeah, I just forgot. Anyways. If you were to be born again, not the religion. Okay. <laughs> if you were to be born again, who or what would you like to be and why? Like what creature? Or a creature or if you want to be person? the elegant or oh, okay. you know. Yeah. Mm. Who would you really want to be? Uh, I already quite like being myself, but if I had to be someone else. Well, first of all, if I were an animal, I uh -huh. would be a house cat cuz I feel like they have it <laughs> fucking made. <laughs> Just massages really on do. demand, really like, do. yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I could be another person, hmm. I always thought, like, Anthony Bourdain had a pretty cool life, but oh, he yeah, killed himself, true. so. <laughs> I don't know, obviously wasn't doing too great, yeah. but his life was pretty fucking cool. He just got to travel and eat. Yeah, write about traveling and yeah. meet people and, yeah, make good food. Yeah, people that love like that guy. I love that guy. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's, like, loved by everyone. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't doing so well inside. I want to be a female Anthony Bourdain. I'm like, <laughs> Antonia. Antonia <laughs> Bourdain. Who would you be? Um, I want to be a president. A president? Mm-hmm. Mm. Of some country and just see how long I take... <laughs> How far I can take this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, you guys. Wow. Are doing that's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Just want to see what you can get away with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. You, right. <laughs> wait, would you want to be a president or like a dictator? A dictator, thing. you really that's could thing, right? just get away with how, anything. How far can you take it? You can take you it pretty I mean? far if you're a dictator. I guess. Like, oh, okay, I've been sitting here for five years now. Okay, I guess I can go for a six year. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Stuff like that. I don't know. It'd just be really cool. Like, I, would I could be a president. Never pick that. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. I could be a president of oh, Venezuela. Sounds or awful. <laughs> I do not want to be a president. <laughs> Johnson, you got my vote anytime. Thanks, Fajij. Is that what's your name? Faji. 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 Are you guys acro yoga pros yet? Yeah, we're the best. Um, acro's been going really well. I thought I told you guys yesterday that I was retired after getting my, my yeah. picture, but I did I did the class this morning. No, oh, actually, actually. CL put on a bird pose. This bitch is strong. Oh yeah, I've been trying to base. Yeah, been mostly flying, but I've been trying to base her a bit too. Yeah, CL squatted me. Yeah, as I was flying, I was yeah. like, "Holy shit, this girl's strong." <laughs> it is tricky though, because it's like Chris was saying, it's like all those little stabilizer muscles that yeah. don't get trained unless you're just doing acro. Really. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's definitely, cool. It's definitely a, it's, challenging. Yeah, it's definitely challenging, and it feels it feels pretty advanced too. <laughs> like yeah. I feel like there's a lot of fundamentals that are getting skipped over for me anyways there's yeah. a lot of people that are more experienced honestly so I, get I feel it. like this is an intermediate intermediate class yeah for people who actually have gone through acro yoga the first level and it's like ready to make it take it to the next yeah. level you know for sure and there's a lot of really talented people here yeah there's a lot of them dexy b dexy eight that's why i have your base I'll be your <laughs> Sure. Sure you will. Seems like you have to have like athleticism and balance posture. Yeah, she has a lot of it. I mean, I've been, you know, getting stronger, but mm -hmm. I don't know about my balance. I don't think I'm a very <laughs> balanced person. <laughs> yeah, she Something to work on though. It, yeah. I feel like I'm getting better, like That's all the questions I have for today. That's it. Yes. Wait, what's that one? Oh. Have you ever dated a girl? I dated Natalie. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But she's trans. Yeah. And? And she's trans. <laughs> Not but. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, she's, she's a good friend of mine. I love her to death. But it definitely reinforced my heterosexuality. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you're awesome. I love you. But uh, I'm too straight for this. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I can understand that. You're definitely pretty straight. I don't know what got in your head thinking that you could <laughs> date a girl. I thought, you know, she has a dick. Maybe uh, this will be different. Yeah. But no. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. I should say, this is just been following me to Hawaii for the second time. Oh, yeah. This oh. Is, he's, uh, he's in Hawaii as well. How are you doing in Hawaii? What, 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 what have you been doing? Are you there for work? I am here.
here for this. Me too. Oh, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I am also here. Lol. Lol, 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 lol. <laughs> That's how Nordic people say LOL. Oh, for real? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Unless he's just fucking with us. <laughs> Is that the right? Do you agree, Naruku? <laughs> Naruku. <laughs> <laughs> You're retiring like me? Nice. <laughs> yes, dorky, do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna stop my recording.